you know about conditioner for your hair. You've used it. You've heard of it. You have various thoughts about it. Well, today I'm going to be talking to you about conditioner and is it really bad for your hair? Now, right off the bat, I'm simply just going to say no. Conditioner is not bad for your hair. What does conditioner actually do? Well, let's just take this mannequin head here with these lovely locks, right? Nice kind of a natural texture with some layers in it with some kind of light waves and things. This is great uh, for using a product like Tidal Wave, letting it air dry, scrunching it. I have loads and loads of videos about this type of haircut <clears throat> and this hairstyle, how to style it. But say, for example, your hair is like this, right? Or even if it's like this. Conditioner is going to really have the most effect and the most noticeable difference and result on longer hair. Why? Because as your hair gets longer, the chances of it knotting up, tangling, becoming more difficult to brush through, it's just very, very common. And what does hair conditioner do? Well, it actually softens the hair and helps detangle and be able to comb through the hair. Now, the biggest misconception about conditioner, people say is, oh, does it, wear, it weighs my hair down. It makes my hair too heavy. Now, that is something that actually could be true. Doesn't necessarily mean it's always gonna be true, but in what situation would a hair conditioner be like not the greatest? Okay, now let's just say you have extremely fine hair, right? The, the density of it is, you know, medium or could, you know, not a lot of density, uh, but the hair texture itself is very, very fine, okay? And if your hair may be thinning, whatever it is, but you have that situation where you don't have a whole lot of hair to work with and you apply conditioner to your hair in the shower, there's a risk that it could potentially make your hair too soft. Now, it's not gonna cause hair loss or any crazy stuff like that, but it could actually make your hair a little bit too soft, meaning that when you go to style it, it's just gonna lay very, very flat, okay? Now, the way to fight that and the way to prevent that is by using styling products that actually help give the hair volume, right? Like Tidal Wave or 25 Spray or any, you know, any sort of styling product or pre-style that's gonna help. But in many situations, in my experience as a stylist, you know, working on thousands of clients over the years, I have seen firsthand when somebody says, like in a salon, don't use conditioner, just shampoo, they know their hair because, you know, they know what works best on their hair. And when they tell you that, that means, and you go and use conditioner, and I've done this, <laughs> I've learned, you know, from hands-on experience, I have seen that the hair is way too soft and it's so hard to get volume in the hair when I'm blow drying it because I used the conditioner when the client said, don't use a conditioner. So, you know, sometimes if you have that hair type, if you use a little bit of conditioner on the ends, okay, if you use a little bit throughout the ends, and what do I mean by ends? Meaning not right here on the scalp, but let's say, you know, you're washing your hair, take the conditioner a little bit and literally just work it through the ends like this, very, very lightly, just enough so you can get your hands through it and stay away from the scalp, but just really, really light, and then rinse it right out. It is gonna help make your hair feel softer. It's gonna help get rid of the tangles, any sort of knots. It's good for conditioning the hair so it's not so dry, because sometimes if you aren't using conditioner, your hair may look a little bit dry, okay? Now there's leave-in conditioners. A leave-in conditioner is great for somebody who has very, very coarse hair, who may have wavy hair, curly hair. It's just a leave it in, set it and forget it. But then again, when you're styling your hair, it may kind of interfere with the styling products because the leave-in conditioner may be too heavy, okay? Now something like, I don't know, here it is right here, hold on. <laughs> something like 25 spray, right, is an amazing product. This is our second best-selling product. 25 benefits here in this bottle. Okay, 25 benefits right here. After you wash your hair, right, you shampoo it, you get out of the shower, you haven't used any conditioner yet, you towel dry it, you can spray four to five spritzes or so of Tidal Wave on your hair. And make sure when you're using Tidal Wave, because it's a thicker liquid, you can't just 
lightly press down like that or else it shoots out like a laser beam. You have to really, really press down on the sprayer. That's gonna help it really get the product through. You spray that on the hair, then you can comb it through and that could be kind of your leave-in conditioning treatment, all right? Plus there's also 25 benefits to it as well. Well, 24, because it's helped, one of them is detangling the hair. So there you go, 24 additional benefits to it. So uh, conditioner overall, it's not a bad thing. Uh, it's not bad for your hair, but how often should you use it? Here's another one. I would say use it as needed. If your hair, if you wash your hair, you know, three times a week, you wash it on Monday, you condition it. So Wednesday comes around, you wash your hair, and you're like, you know what, it feels really dry on the ends, then use it, okay? There's no problem and no harm using conditioner when you use shampoo. It's just gonna keep your hair in better condition, honestly. Like, when people don't condition their hair, it's, it's usually very dry uh, and very tangly, and it just doesn't feel the greatest. So don't be afraid to use conditioner. And if you feel like you want to have a more of a conditioning treatment experience, then just leave the conditioner on the ends of your hair for maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. You know, put the conditioner on, wash your body, do what you gotta do, and then rinse it off after a short period of time. It's gonna act more like a conditioning treatment for your hair, which is not a bad thing. So let me know if you found this video helpful. If you are interested in purchasing any of my products, including shampoos and conditioners, use code YouTube20 and also, Big news, in my next video, which is coming out tomorrow, I'm doing a 2022 hair trends video. The biggest styles for 2022 with an interesting twist, which you don't wanna miss. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.